So, law of attraction, tell me, how does it work? <laughs> how does it work? I don't know, if you are anything like me, then this topic is kind of a double-edged sword, and I mean that in more than one way. So, I'm going to share with you some of my aha moments and let me know if this kind of resonates with you. Let me know if you are someone who has heard about law of attraction forever, knows about it, but just it just kind of it, it misses. <laughs> like it just kind of misses. It doesn't quite land or it sounds a little bit theoretical is that the word like it's it's a uh, you know it's it's not it doesn't seem to be really happening it doesn't seem to be relevant to you um if that sounds like you then you may find this interesting because i'm gonna explore unpack talk about and kind of play with this concept and some of the aha moments that i have had and some of the incredible things that have come into play since i've been more intentional and more aware about how I get this fabulous thing, Law of Attraction, working for me. And if you want to know how to get it working for you, then hang around, stick around and listen up. So welcome. My name is Kylie Ansett. I am the Alignment Whisperer. I help you get into alignment with your inner wisdom, your part of yourself that has all the answers. As all of us do, we all have the true answers to all of our questions within us, but sometimes we don't know how to access that. So that's what I'm here to help you do. And I'm coming to you from beautiful Sydney, Australia, and this is your daily dose of alignment. Okay, so let's talk about law of attraction. You've probably heard of it. In fact, I'm sure you have, because who hasn't? But it's so funny, I was talking with a friend the other day and he was saying, Oh, well, that's all very well and good for you, but you know, it doesn't apply in this situation. And I kind of had to laugh because I used to think like that too. It's like, okay, law of attraction works there and there and maybe for them, but like with this situation, it's different. To me, that's like saying, you know, gravity works in this situation and that situation, but not in that situation. Like, like if it's a law, it's, it's universal. It's, it works all the time, right? So I kind of had to laugh, but I understand that sentiment because 100% I have felt that way before. There's a frustration when it comes to this concept because it, it is actually quite a sort of, what can I say? It's quite a diverse and double-sided concept. It's because the thing is that law of attraction states that whatever you put out you'll bring back towards yourself so you say okay well i'm putting out that i want this you know i want happiness i want good health i want you know hundreds of thousands of dollars i want the lover in my bed i want the you know the dollars in the bank all of that so you you're you're, you're putting that out and then you're going okay where is it law of attraction hello i'm waiting where's my stuff well here's the thing law of attraction does not apply to your words at all at all at all hey there hey welcome nice to see you kim hey emmanuel tragedy of no i have not but i like the sound of it <laughs> so um this is the thing law of attraction means that the things that you are thinking about and about your vibration not about your words and your vibration so often like think about it something you really want let's say it's dollars let's say it's you know the money in the bank the credit card paid off or the new car in the garage right when you think about that thing I this is certainly what happens to me I think about okay that car I want that car I want that car it's gonna be that color that make that model like you know this this is how I want it to be when I'm thinking about it what I'm feeling, maybe not the first time, but very soon, what I'm feeling is the lack of it. I'm like, I don't have it. I don't have it. Now, that's that's the vibration I'm putting out. You know, sometimes you'll see that car driving down the road and you'll go, oh, this, oh, this is 100% what I have done until I became more intentional. I'd see my car, like what I wanted. Oh, I can't even remember the brand. And Subaru BRZ, <laughs> that was what I wanted, I'd like a white cream colored, I'd see one driving past and I'd go, 
ah, like, mm, that's, that's mine, that's mine. And the vibration I would have would be lack. Not, not the vi and, and, and law of attraction says whatever we put out, we bring that back towards us. So I would be putting out the vibration of the lack of this car, the not having of it, right? Now, I don't know, um, Emmanuel, if this tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, is that got anything to do with this specifically? I'm assuming it does. Um, it sounds like, like a story, but if it's explaining this topic, then I am 100% going to be looking uh, uh, into that because I find this such a subtle and kind of um, like it's not, it's, it's difficult to get your head around. It's so easy to think, but I don't have it. So how can I be vibrating with the vibration of having it, which is what law of attraction works on, if I don't have it? Like the reality is I don't have the car. I don't have the dollars. Like, like so how can I be putting out the vibration of the having of them? So this is the kind of disconnect that happens whenever we think about the, the, the desiring of something then usually what we are actually doing is the opposite. We are focusing on the fact that we don't have it. We're focusing on the fact that what our, well, we're not focusing on, we're focusing on what we want, but the feeling we're putting out is that we don't have it. So this is where flipping it on its head and kind of really messing with your own reality, messing with your own mind, this is what we have to do here, okay? So, the car. All right, I can I can feel my Subaru BRZ. I you know I can picture it. I've looked at it in the magazines. I've checked it out online. I even know the dealership I'll get it from. All of that good stuff, right? Now, what the trick is to do is to to feel. Okay, if I had that, if that car was in my garage, and I was the owner of it, and I had you know the rego papers with my name on it, and it was mine, 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 paid for one hundred percent what would that feel like? Like, how would I feel? Uh, and you just like, just dig into that feeling, the feeling of owning that car, of, of having that relationship, of having that body that you want or the dollars that you want. Like, like basically, whatever it is that you desire, what does that feel like? And then spending the majority of your day feeling like that. Now that doesn't mean you have to be focusing on the car all day, but you're going to be focusing on feeling enriched, feeling abundant, feeling like, okay, here's, here's a funny thing. And ladies, maybe guys too, but tell me if you feel like this. When I get my toenails painted, right? I know nobody notices my toenails except me. I know it. <laughs> but when I get my toenails Painted, yes, empowered, absolutely. When I get my toenails painted, like I feel on top of the world. I feel like, oh my God, my feet are so sexy at the moment. Like everyone must be noticing that. And, and I know that I walk with a certain strut in, you know, in my stride. I'm like, woohoo, look at me. Like that's going on in my mind. Like the reality is I can almost put money on it 100% of nobody is noticing my toenails but me but I'm feeling like a million dollars now that <laughs> are you saying you notice my toenails <laughs> I don't I really don't think you do and I kind of hope people don't notice my toenails because it's been a long time since I've got them done and I'm like nobody notices them but it's the feeling that we get so the feeling of having the car in the garage, I'm, that's that's the one I'm going to talk about because that's the one I've kind of played with for a while, and I've had it on my vision board and all the rest of it. And it's like, well, where's the where's the car? Where's the car? Most of the time, I have been focusing on the lack of that car. And tell me if this is something that you have done too. That when you think about something in your goal, what you're actually thinking about, not after the, like you make the initial goal. Yeah, okay, absolutely, you make the initial goal. But what you think about after a very short time is that you don't have that. You don't have that thing that you wanted. And so that becomes the vibration that you're putting out, the lack, the vibration of not having it. So here's the thing, guys. If you can take, the, it, this is where 
this is where meditation helps and the reason meditation helps is because meditation is all about having some awareness of what's going on in your mind most of the time we walk around uh, being very reactive and like being yeah we we don't have control or we're not intentional about our thoughts they are reactive to our environment rather than us being proactive with our thoughts so meditation helps you kind of get a little handle on that like it helps you decide where you're going to put your thoughts just for that 10 or 15 minutes that you're doing the meditation when it comes to law of attraction where you put your thoughts is so important for like 24 7 like well at least while you're awake what you are thinking about is what you are drawing towards you a hundred percent of the time so that can be a bit of a shock when I first started looking at this and I first started having some awareness around this it was a little scary I'm not gonna lie because I realized just how often my thoughts were in a place of it, like mild annoyance um, lack definitely lack um, uh, my not, nothing extreme I was you know it wasn't going around in rage and all this kind of thing but you know irritation annoyance okay here's a good example this morning I went outside I was gonna do meditation in the um, garden and beautiful morning beautiful morning here in Sydney I went out there and there's a guy <laughs> I swear to you this is true there's a guy standing at my rubbish bin um, taking a leak <laughs> doing a wee and I totally caught him at it and he like he had a hoodie on he pulled his hoodie up and he ran away a million miles an hour um, uh, yeah yeah absolutely so I'm just reading these comments hey um, if you're going to uh, a Camaro is that what you said a Camaro give me a freaking I don't I don't even know what a Camaro is but that does not that sounds like something no this is a sports car a Subaru BRZ it's actually the also the Toyota something which I don't I don't anyway it should be a Mercedes or something I, I guess um, I put a picture of my dream on my bathroom mirror I could see it every day and it kept me focused yeah Kim but t tell me because I have my vision boards and have had them but tell me when you think of it maybe not the first time or the second time or the third time but does it start to get you feeling like but I don't have it but where is the car like when it's still not manifesting into your reality or are you someone who is very intentional with your thoughts which is where I'm trying to go I'm gonna get back to the urination story in a minute <laughs> but if you're very intentional with your thoughts so every time you see it in the bathroom mirror you just are flooded with the vibration of oh, owning that car mm, 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 abundance um, it, what did you say before I think you said it, empowered yeah exactly um, so if you can do that fantastic but here you go so I had this situation this morning with this guy having a wee on my rubbish bin because I've like the way that the setup is outside it's kind of like in a little alleyway and but it like I busted him and he pulled his hoodie up and he ran he bolted away and I was just like for real now I could have uh, and I did I can look a lie I did for a short while get into kind of uh, huh, excuse me and like now I've got a now there's like we on the pathway or whatever and I was I was annoyed but I realized that whatever vibration I'm putting out I'm pulling towards me now I don't if I put out the vibration of annoyance irritation especially when I'm about to go out and sit down and meditate what do you think I, the rest of my day is going to go like do you think it's going to be unicorns and rainbows or do you think it's going to be like I'm just going to be bumping into one urinator after another <laughs> I mean okay probably not exactly that but you know what I'm saying right so here's the thing when it comes to law of attraction making it work for you is about having moment to moment awareness of where your thoughts are and when something happens like my early morning urinator <laughs> when something happens like that um, don't follow one negative thought with another because otherwise that becomes what you're attracting in and I have become practiced at being able to being aware of my thoughts ah I felt irritated I felt annoyed and then I quickly shifted from that to oh my gosh what a beautiful day look at this sunshine listen to the birds like you know that became what my focus was so very quickly I shifted my focus because 
I want to be intentional with my thoughts all the time because I want all the things I desire. I want that car in my garage. I want those dollars in the bank and I ain't gonna get them by having a vibration of lack and irritation and annoyance because if I have that, I'm just gonna get more of those. Um, yes and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's really interesting that you say A Wonderful Life, Emmanuel, because I was talking to my mother about a movie called A Beautiful Life, which is the opposite of that. And I kept getting it mixed up with A Wonderful Life. I think that's like a really old Jimmy Stewart movie, right? And in A Beautiful Life, that's quite a, re well, it's, a, it's about 15 years old, um, but it's where, yeah, romanticized idea of struggle and modest living. That's really interesting because when we put some kind of like oh this is actually you know a um like you said romanticized you know the, we're, we're like a martyr and we're you know we'll we'll uh, i'll do this for the good of whatever um that is there's one thing when you're doing that with a sense of uh like um resentment or martyrdom but there's another when you're just 100 percent embracing and loving whatever your situation right so so the the other movie I was mentioning a beautiful life and I think that's what it's called was about this guy this man and his son who were in a concentration camp and the man wanted did it they wanted to protect his son from this horrific experience right his son was I don't know like eight or nine or something like that and so what he did is he um, he kind of made it into a game and I just that has stuck with me as it doesn't matter the message I got from that was it does not matter yes exactly but Bernini yes exactly you want to you want to uh, yes you've watched it yeah cool so it, but the, I, uh, for me that was such a powerful message it's like it doesn't matter what the external circumstances it's the vibration you bring to it and you can change your reality because right he changed the reality even though the reality was like anyone would have an excuse, like that's an excuse to kind of be in a headspace of devastation and lack and hatred and grief and whatever. But no, 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 he didn't do that. Now, I know it's a movie. I know, I know. I get it. Um, but I, I, the message, powerful. That, that message has stayed with me for absolutely um, years since I've seen it. And... Um, Oh, I love that, Kim. Uh, you're, you're really, you're in that headspace too. I love it. It's hard to learn to set small goals and make the big ones happen. Yes. The way I see with the small goals is that it's so much easier. Like, okay, let's talk about my urinator. I don't know if you were on when I told that story, but basically if I could be like that's not something massively irritating, but I could easily have gone down the path of irritation and brought some annoyance into my day. And those are the small things that it's quite easy to take control over those. You know, someone cuts you off in traffic, someone um, someone kind of, uh, you know, gives you a dirty look or short changes you, or, you know, those little things, as opposed to, you know, like the, the big things like your you know, break down your marriage or being in a concentration camp like that movie. Like those are the big things. But if you practice with the small things, um, in fact, that's all you need to do. You, you Like sometimes focusing on the car just brings up the feeling of lack. I don't have the car. I don't have the car. So don't focus on the car. Focus on the feeling of having a car. So let's say if the feeling of having car is empowered, like my toenails, right? Like, you know, fantastic, abundant, joyful. Just focus on that and have bring that feeling to everything. You know, look at your, your glass of water and say, oh, you know, just it, just the, the, the appreciation for something like that. You know, the food that you're eating, whatever it is, just bringing that vibration into your life, not even necessarily on the the topic of the thing that you want because so often that just activates what you don't want um, or activates your realization of the lack of it so thank you so much for playing with me this has been fun this has been uh, absolute joy now two things I want to tell you I am doing a month of gratitude this month every single day I am putting on my timeline 
some person in my life who has touched me and made a difference that I feel blessed to have had them in my life. And there's just been so many. I thought, you know what? Oh, is it over? <laughs> You're so sweet, Emmanuel. Um, I, so I'll be back tomorrow. I keep doing these things. Um, so every month I, uh, sorry, every day of this month, I'm going to be talking about someone who I am grateful for. And if I can tag them, I'm going to be. There's been teachers and leaders. There's been, um, there's been friends. There's been guides, gurus, mentors, all this thing. I have just been so blessed. And I just thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do this month. Month of gratitude. Every day I'm going to tell a story about someone. I, I posted on my timeline this morning about my headmistress when I was six years old. What an incredible woman. So if you want to join in, do it too. Like just think about who has, who has touched you and who has been empowering uh, for you in your life and give them a bit of love. Um, do it publicly. I'm finding it really fun. And the other thing is the Lady Tribe Challenge. Um, Oh, let me get back to you on that, Emmanuel. So the Lady Tribe Challenge, which is the other hashtag you'll notice on this, and that is basically a challenge where a whole bunch of us are going doing live videos every day. Now, I've been doing live videos already for a while on a daily basis, but now I'm kind of part of this challenge because I thought, oh, that's going to be fun. Um, and so that's, that's what else is happening. So um, if you are interested in doing live video, then go and check out that because there's a whole lot of really cool stuff going down there. And in answer to your question, Emmanuel, am I doing some more about writing? You know what? It's really interesting. I'm writing a book about writing called Soul Purpose Self-Publishing. I love self-publishing. I love supporting people to get their their mm, their soul message out into the world but 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 my focus now is more about mindset and so i am certainly going to support people who want like on a one-on-one -on -one basis as a coach um as a one-on-one -on -one coach but you'll notice that my live streams and a lot of the writing that i'm doing is now very much focused around Things like law of attraction, things like mindset, hey there, welcome. Things like um, how to live a purposeful life, how to get in touch with your inner wisdom. Um, so that's my answer to that, Emmanuel. Um, you probably won't, well, you won't be seeing me doing uh, my live videos on that, but there's a heap in the archive. So if you go to the, I've now renamed my page, the Alignment Whisperer, and you look at the old videos, the ones that have got the bookcase behind me, there's a ton there. There's an absolute ton of videos about self-publishing. Um, and if you do want one-on-one -on -one help, well, hey, I'm, I'm definitely here to help you do that as a coach. So I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for playing with me in the Alignment Sandbox. And I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Bye.